Okay, so first of all, in this video, I'm going to be showing you three methods for making rotating arrow animations in PowerPoint. For the first method, you need to go to Insert and then Smart Art. Then you need to select Cycle. Then you need to select Segmented Cycle and OK. Then open up the text pane and add in bullet points to increase the number of arrows. The maximum number of arrows that you can have is seven. Then close the text pane and change the style of the smart art. Then go to convert and convert to shapes. And this will convert the smart art into individual shapes. Then right click and group and ungroup. Then you can delete the segments in the middle and just have the arrows. Then select all of the arrows and press Ctrl G to group them. Then go to animations and select the spin animation. And then you can increase the duration of the spin in order to slow down the arrows. And that is the first method. For the second method, you need to go to insert and shapes and draw a circle and hold down shift while drawing the circle. And then remove the shape fill from this shape. Then go to insert and shapes and select the curved arrow. And we're going to use the circle as a guide for shaping the arrow. And once you've got the arrow to be the right size that you want, go to insert and shapes and select a rectangle and draw a rectangle over the top half of the arrow. Then select the arrow and hold down control and select the rectangle. Then go to merge shapes and subtract. And now you have a curved arrow. Go to shape outline and remove the outline and then open up shape styles and go to fill and make a gradient. Delete one of the gradient stops then change all of them to black. Then for this gradient stop, change it to a 70% transparency. And then for the middle one, change it to a 30% transparency. And this will make it look like the arrow is fading away. Then close this and select the shape and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then go to rotate and rotate right 90 degrees and then line up the shape with the circle. Then duplicate it again and rotate it right and then line it up on this side of the circle. Then do this one last time and rotate it and line it up in this corner. And now we can delete the circle because we no longer need this. And then we can select all of the arrows and press Ctrl G to group them and then Ctrl D to duplicate them. Then go to rotate and more rotation options and select the rotation and change it to 95 degrees. Then close that and press Ctrl A to select everything and then align everything up by going to align and center and then align and middle. Then press Ctrl G to group all of this. Then go to animations and add in a spin animation and this time we need the spin to go counterclockwise. And this is the second method for making a rotating arrows animation in PowerPoint. 
This method is a little more time consuming than the first method I showed you, but it has the advantage of you being able to have more than seven arrows if you want, and you can also make the arrow look however you want. Now for the third method, I'm going to show you how to make an animation which isn't a circle. So this time I am going to draw my arrow using two triangles and I'm going to make the first one small and fat and then the second one is going to be long and thin. And I'm going to put them back to back. Now select both of the shapes and go to Merge Shapes and Union. Then remove the shape outline and go to Shape Styles and Gradient and then we'll be able to use the gradient that we used last time. Then we need to insert a rectangle and hold down Shift to make sure this is an exact square. And I am going to make the arrow a little bit smaller. And then remove the fill from this shape. And then select everything and go to align and align center. And we're going to be using the rectangle as a guide for our animation. So go to animations and select custom path. And then click somewhere in the middle of the arrow. And you need to click and release and then move the arrow and then go to the corner and click again and just follow the shape of the rectangle round. And you'll know when you've gotten to the end of the shape because it will fill in. Okay, so that is how the arrow is going to move. Now, if I open up the animation pane, we need to change the effect options on here to remove the smooth start and smooth end, and then increase the duration and make it much longer, make it about 20 seconds. Now, the arrow is going to go round in a square. However, we need the arrow to change direction every single time it goes round a corner. And in order to do this, we're going to need four spin animations, each of them being 90 degrees. So we're going to add an animation. We're going to add a spin animation. And then we're going to need four of these. Okay, now we've got those. We can hold down shift and select all of them. Then go to effect options and change them all to a quarter spin. And we need them so they start with previous, so they'll occur at the same time as the custom path. And we also want them to be much quicker, only 0.5 seconds. Now we need to add delays to each of these so the arrow will spin when it goes round the corner. So for the first one, it needs to have a delay of 1.75 seconds. The second one needs a delay of 7.75 seconds. The third one needs a delay of 11.75 seconds. And then the final one needs a delay of 18 seconds. And now if we play this, the arrow should spin at the approximate time it goes round the corner. It takes a little bit of trial and error to get these timings right, but it is easier if the duration of the custom animation is nice and long, because then it's easier to see when the arrow goes around the corner. Okay, and now we've done that, we can delete the rectangle because we don't need that anymore. And then select the arrow and press Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then I click and drag the arrow so it lies directly above the other one. This will also move the custom path so it will be exactly in the same place as the other custom path. Now we can go to Format and rotate this and flip it horizontally. Then we need to select the second custom path and rotate it so the arrow is on the bottom. 
then we need to go to animations and change it so it starts with previous and this will automatically add an 18 second delay because the animation just before it has an 18 second delay you're going to want to change this back to zero and now if we press play the arrows should rotate round and this is the third method that I'm going to show you okay and that is everything